Greetings everybody, this is Tarantric Girl 99 and um, I just got a package which I'm very excited about what is in here. So I'm just going to pause the video so I can open it because if I tried to do this one handed I'd probably take about 10 hours. Let's get into it, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Alright, so immediately you will see this which is absolutely incredible. This is a Harpactura pulchropes. The golden blue-legged baboon. Absolutely stunning tarantula. Probably the most expensive species in my collection. Like, if you took into account the price of all the spiders I have at two centimetre slings, this is definitely the most expensive. So this is very exciting for me. It's going to be a beautiful tarantula. Alright, let's see what else we have in here. So this obviously looks quite big. <laughs> what is it? Can anyone guess? Alright, just want to take this out carefully because they've had a, a journey. Just give me one sec. Alright, so here I have a breeding pair of Firmictopus auratus. And if you have watched my channel before, you will know that I have an adult female already. So now I have two adult females and a mature male. So, yes, this is going to be the start of a very exciting breeding project. He's a gorgeous male. Whoa. And the female. She seems to have had a fun time ripping up her uh, tissue. Oh god, she's stunning. Wow. Alright, so I'm just going to go into my bathroom now and set up their enclosures and I'll see you then. Alright, welcome to my bathroom. Now, me being the complete idiot that I am, I thought I had much more substrate than I actually do. I barely have enough to cover the bottom of this enclosure in a layer of substrate. So this is going to be kind of a temporary arrangement. Um, I will be putting more sub in there, it's just I want to get him out of this uh, packing enclosure so at least he can stretch his legs and get a drink, etc. So yep, let's, let's, oh. let's hope he's not too uh, angry with me. Sorry, little guy. Well, big guy. He's actually quite a big male. <laughs> Bigger than I thought, honestly. Alright. Hopefully this will go without uh, any problems. Sorry. I feel bad for him. He's probably quite traumatized after his journey. But wow, he's a beautiful guy. Hey boy. Who's a pretty boy? Alright. So, hopefully he'll just uh, be easily prodded into his enclosure, but he could also not be in a very good mood. So I guess we'll find out. Go on. Good boy. I'm doing this one-handed, so let's hope nothing goes too wrong. Go on. Good boy. Alright, that could have gone worse. He's gorgeous. Beautiful guy. I'm gonna call him Osiris because uh, my female is called Isis, so it just seems fitting to call him Osiris. He's a very big male. I mean, I'm probably, I might even get him a bigger enclosure because this is actually what I was going to put him in, but uh, it's actually quite small compared to him. But anyway, yeah, so now onto the female. I'm going to fill up his water dish now. 
Alright, so this female is not very happy right now. She has been striking. And the fact that she kind of ripped up the tissue isn't really helping the situation. It's kind of hard to get out and it's kind of going everywhere. So I think I'm just going to close the lid and let her calm down because she does not seem to be very happy at the moment. Gorgeous girl though. I love that gold sheen. Alright, so there is little Harpactera pulcropes. It's so small. I can't wait for this one to grow up, it's going to be absolutely stunning. But yeah, I hope it likes its new home. I'll go show you the um, Pieratus pair now. Alright, so um, female is still in her shipping container. Uh, she hasn't come out since, it's been about an hour. She's currently grooming. Um, Hopefully she'll get out eventually, because I kind of want that container. I want to put my Haplopus species Columbia Large in it, because its enclosure is getting a bit small for it. And then over here is the male. He's actually a very big male. Uh, seven inches. I mean, that's probably quite normal. It's just I've never had a mature male from Ectopus before, so it's pretty impressive, honestly, because I'm used to mature males being, you know, small. <laughs> But yeah, I measured him. He's a solid seven inches, which is pretty impressive. He's been wandering around for the past while, uh, being a typical mature male. But, um, yeah, so I know I've already said this, but I will, um, like, at least revamp his enclosure, make it a bit better, more substrate. And I will be rehoming her, and I will record that in a few days. Um, and down here we have... Isis, who is uh, somewhere, you can't really see, but she's just kind of there. So yeah, a nice little breeding trio of Firmictopisoratus should be uh, should be pretty fun. All right. Well, anyway, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.